Come on, get the pictures in your mind, bro. Get the pictures in your mind. Going to get this gold, bro. Our purpose to us means more to them. Our purpose to us means more to us than their purpose means to them. Straight up. You got to believe that every snap, bro. Every movement we make is with a purpose, dog. Every stance is with a purpose, dog. When you buckle your chin strap up, it's with a purpose, dog. Uh -huh. Do you feel me? Yeah, yeah. 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 Brooklyn Fear Howell, Brooklyn Fear Shy, Brooklyn Fear Howell, Brooklyn Fear Howell. Pardon me, Brooklyn Fear Howell, Brooklyn Fear Shy, Brooklyn Fear Howell, Brooklyn Fear Shy, Brooklyn Fear Howell, Brooklyn Fear Howell, Bashim Yahweh Shy, Bashim, Rikaku Dash. That belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole elect out there, man. You brothers that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity on the pre Shaman. And uh, this week's title is going to be entitled Purpose, uh, inspired by this speech by the. Um, Kansas City safety, um, Eric Berry. And um, as he was giving this speech, it was getting me so pumped. And I was just looking at the aspects of it from the truth. And I'm going to um, use some of the things he said to um, fuel this lesson in the spiritual sense. And you're going to see what he, what he was saying. Man, I'm going to run that speech one more time, bro, Brother Salaki. Let me run it one more time. Get that focus. Lock in. Get those pictures in your mind, bro. Get those pictures in your mind. We're going to get this gold, bro. Our purpose to us means more to them. Our purpose to us means more to us than their purpose means to them. Yeah. Straight up, you gotta believe that every snap, bro, every movement we make is with a purpose, dog. Every stance is with a purpose, dog. When you buckle your chin strap up, it's with a purpose, dog. Uh -huh. Do you feel me? Yeah, yeah. 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 And a lot of things that he said in that little quick speech right there, there's more to it, but I'm only, you know, only use 30 seconds of the clip. Is um I'm gonna go beat by beat. Some of the things like you know our purpose meaning more to more to us than our, than than their purpose meaning to them meaning the one third versus the two thirds and the rest of these nations. Also, he said get focused, right? Now this is the book of Revelation chapter three verse fifteen. He said I it says um I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would rather thou art cold or hot. And we already know that focus focal is heat. All right, that's a concentrated fire. All right, like a laser to be focused in. So when you get focused, you know you look at uh, you got to get that focus. You look at Revelation chapter three verse fifteen. That's what it's talking about, man. Getting hot, you got to be hot for this thing, man. All right, so we're gonna go to the next scripture that um associates itself with this uh this like little speech right here, man. And it's the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28 It says And we know that all things work together for the for good To them that love Yahweh Hashem Yahweh To them that were called according to his purpose So the Mosai has a purpose Alright And we are that purpose Alright We are part of his purpose And what's our purpose? Well Let's go to the next scripture See, are we going, we going scripture per scripture based on this beat, man. See, the scriptures say all things are done for edification, man. So you got to look at everything spiritually, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. So our purpose is to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. What's part of his commandments? Well, we was commanded in the book of Luke to go out there on the hedges, the highways and byways. All right? And fill the Lord's, and fill his uh, son's house, man. Bid those for the marriage. We're supposed to be doing this work. We're supposed to be keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability. All right? Pretty much following this, following these scriptures, man. All right? Going out there and being prophets, man. All right? And warning our people. And the most I takes pleasure in this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 11. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, takes, taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. So, as the scripture says, we're subject to hope. What does it mean? It means that since we sin daily and we go off daily, man, the most at any point could, what, judge us, man, all right? Because that's, when something gets weighed, all right, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the, um, when something gets weighed, it's pretty much the payment, all right, for a particular judgment, man, all right? But we're, we're, we've been, uh, subject, um, to hope, man, all right, because in these vain flesh that we have, we could, you know, we go off constantly, man. All right, but again, we're still purpose to hope in that to hope in that faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua will pardon us, as the Scripture says in the Book of Psalms thirty four and the Book of Romans the fourth chapter. Blesses the the man who the Most High imputeth not iniquity, man. 
All right, and the elder, the elder brother, um, out there in Mississippi, Kazak, man, he did a beautiful lesson, man, and pretty much we're all being moved by the Holy Spirit, man. All right, to do what we're doing right now. Okay, there's no free will. Okay. Now, another thing that the brother mentioned is that it speaks about a goal. Let me see. He said, we're going to get this goal. Pretty much, they're trying to chase a title. All right, but guess what? We're trying to do the same thing. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. Now, this run running that we're doing, man, it's just not like a steady pace running thing. I mean, because yes, it's a marathon because the scripture says the race is not to the swift, but this run that we run, it has obstacles in the track field, man. All right, you have to jump. You got to move. You got to dodge, all right? Things are coming at you randomly, all right? <laughs> it's not an easy run, and you got to maintain a certain pace, meaning you got to continually do this work. You got to uh, continually strive to try to obtain that crown, and there's this... Um, the most high point to the servant Satan to throw obstacles at us, man. All right? That we must duck and dodge and pray that we don't get uh, caught up in them particular snares. This is a book of, uh, continue on to the 20 verse, 25th verse. It says, And every man that striveth for his, for the mastery is temperate in all things, balance. Just like these brothers up in, in, the, in the football video, they balance in, 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 the, um, in, the, in, the, in the, um, in their respective careers, man. So are we. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. What's that corruptible crown? A Super Bowl, NBA championship, um, rings, all these stuff that, you know, they're going to pretty much auction off when they broke. It says, but well, we an incorruptible. So our crown is incorruptible, meaning no man could take your crown, man. All right. If you have the elect, no man could take it. As the scripture says, let no man take your crown. But the elect, if you have the elect, no man will take your crown. So we, that's why we pray. We have the hopeful elect. And therefore... So run, not as not as uncertain, not as uncertainly, uncertainly. Let me read that again. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. So you can't be running with no fucking doubt, man. You gotta have confidence that you're a man of your how about shim yao shot. Point blank period. And I believe for a hundred percent, no doubt, man, that some of the apostles and the elders on down. Brothers of Great Millstone, myself included, man, that we're doing the will of the Heavenly Father and the truth and sincerity, and we have 100% truth, and the Most High is dealing with us, man. All right? Verse 27, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So you got to say humble, man. Humble. The word humble or humility goes back to of the earth. That's how come when... People used to do signs of humility. They used to put ashes upon their head, man. So we have to have we have to be humble. All right, and we got to continue to run this race, man. All right, I'm going to go a few scriptures into that before I switch gears into the next thing that he said. Um, Ecclesiastes 9 11, I, I, I return and so under the sun, all right, that the race is not to the swift. That's how come we know that the race that we're running is a spiritual race because in a physical race, the race is to the swift. When you watch, um, you know, the football, the track, the baseball, it's, it's primarily is given to the, the more superior team physically, bigger, faster, stronger, more athletic, all right? But this race is not about that, all right? It's not, it's not a race to the swift. It's just a race about finishing, man, most importantly. Nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance have the, to them all, the elect. All right. Well, it starts with the elect, man. All right. Soon, all of the all, 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 all of our people are gonna inherit. All right, that kingdom. All you nations had your chance. Now's the time for the nation of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to have our chance. Philippians three and fourteen. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Hamashiach Yahushai. So these brothers up top, they pressing forward toward their goal. Hey, we're pressing forward towards our goal. Again, this speech, every time I, I watch it, I just keep thinking about the truth and also pump me up to, to of course, do something physical as, as you know, as, as to go to the gym or work, whatever. You know, pretty much whatever your purpose is, man. You got to, you got to, you got to strive for it, man. You got to, you got to be great in your purpose, you know, and we're trying to grow spiritually every day. You know, I know brothers put them prayers up for growth every single day, man. 
All right, both spiritual, mental, and physical growth, man. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with, with so great a, a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience. Patience means to suffer, so <laughs> you're going to suffer during this race. The race that is set before us, man. All right, so hey, man, we got to move uh, forward towards our goal. Okay, be focused, be on fire, know your purpose, all right? James chapter 1 verse 12, blessed is the man that endures temptation. <laughs> See, our purpose is greater than the purpose of those of the two-thirds. The two-thirds can't endure no temptation. What's the primary temptation, man? The primary temptation is the chip. Well, our daily day, our daily, our daily day to, uh, temptations in the world too, man, all right? It says, Blessed is the man that endureth the temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord, how about Shem Yahshua, has promised to them that love him, man. All right, so we're not doing this thing in vain, man. All right? If, if you you know, if you know continue in this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity, the Most High will keep his promise and will deliver us, man. So you have to have faith in that, man. All right? When the time comes, I know we're going to be extremely fearful when the missiles are coming down. But, you know, we still just got to keep praying in that day, hey, that, you know, I've, I've ran the course and now is the time to obtain my crown, Lord willing. Another thing that was mentioned in the video before I close out was the vision. And you have to believe and see this thing, man. You have to see these prophecies, man. I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm, I think he says that. Let me see. Lock in. Get the picture in your mind, bro. Get the picture in your mind. Get the picture in your mind, man. All right. Visualize this thing, as the apostle apostle of Gabar says, man. Right, you have to visualize this thing, man. All right, you have to see these prophecies, man. You have to see that the destruction of America is imminent, man. The food shortages, the famine. All right, 2019, uh, the year of Karagma, that chip, man. We see all these things, man, and we believe on these things, man. That's how come we're not doomsday prepper, we're not holding up gold, silver, none of that shit, man. Because we have just absolute faith in the how Bashim Yasha that he shall make a way. Proverbs 29 and 18, where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So brothers, hey man, visualize, all right, that Yahweh Shah is going to come back, man. Hey, sometimes, man, you just close your eyes, you visualize Yahweh Shah coming back, man, with them trumpets, cracking them horn, uh, crack, sounding the trumpet, and turning a lot of motherfuckers to dust. And these movies help, man. A lot of these movies that these Hollywood directors put together come straight from the scriptures, but they ain't going to give no credit. Movies like ID4, War of the Worlds, you close your eyes, you visualize that, all right? Movies such as that deal with deliverance, okay? Visualize all these things, man, all right? Movies like The Road, putting yourself in that mindset, man, shit's going to get fucking real out here. Even certain Bible movies, man, all right? Help you think about your forefathers of old and how the shit that they had to go through, man. It's a daily, it's a daily and constant struggle for a prophet, man. All right, all men of the Lord. Okay, anybody that's serving the Most High, but that's also written in the book of Sirach, the second chapter. When you come to serve the Most High, prepare thy soul for temptation. Hey, stay strong, Aki. And with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. And salutations to the whole for the elect out there, man. You brothers that do this thing in the ammo, truth and sincerity. Shalom.